what's up guys so I don't have um, like a plan of what I'm going to be saying in the video I just wanted to check in with y'all um, just say hey and I guess let y'all know what's been going on a bit um, as parents with Eva and just how life has been um, I know that I was saying in our last video that I was gonna start to do more vlogs and it's just I don't know I just haven't had I haven't had time or more so the mental capacity to be able to record and edit videos regularly um, and I know a lot of y'all have said don't worry about it we'll be here when you get back but I I love vlogging and doing YouTube videos um, so I've been trying so hard to, to figure out how and when but it just hasn't really happened um, so things are good Eva is four she's just about four months now which is crazy she's growing so fast and she's got the cutest little personality I mean she she's gonna be a handful I'm gonna tell you all that she's gonna be a handful um, but she's so funny I mean she's laughing and she's talking like crazy like she I feel like she's gonna say her first words soon because she talks a lot and it's so stinking cute it just melts your heart and um she's in the morning whenever she wakes up she's so happy and just like smiling and oh, I just we just love her so much and I'm trying to just enjoy every second of it because I am staying home with her and although there are days where I just I don't feel like I can do it um that I as soon as she smiles I'm reminded that she's the most amazing thing that's ever happened to us um so we've been doing really good um and I guess the main component that I wanted to open up about on here and I'm, I'm being very real with y'all uh, this probably isn't something that I would have otherwise shared but having talked to a few moms that have dealt with it um, I feel more compelled to open up about it because I I don't think enough people talk about it I don't think enough moms talk about it um, it's real and it's I don't, it's just it's something else entirely um so I have been dealing with postpartum depression um I think I've been for the first several weeks I was kind of I, I don't know I just thought hormones were going to regulate and um you know it was just the first couple weeks after the baby it's all a blur there's so much going on and uh so I just assumed it was all just hormones after the baby um but it hasn't really it's gotten better in some aspects but it hasn't gone away and so there there have been days where I can't stop crying and I'll usually let Matt know I don't want to tear up about this but I'll usually let Matt know if I'm having a bad day um and it does it does usually coincide with Eva's bad days um but it's just dealing with um anxiety prior to pregnancy and and having the baby um it's a real familiar feeling it's just that feeling of not as much impending doom that i get with anxiety whenever i'm anxious um i feel like something's wrong like something bad is going to happen when i don't know what that is um but with depression it's that overwhelming feeling of sadness and what makes it even worse is that I'm sitting there staring at the most amazing creation I will ever know in my life. And, and the baby that makes me more happy than I can even describe. But yet I'm crying. And having, you know, going through that too, it makes me feel even worse. So it kind of feeds on itself because I'm crying and I'm like, you should not be crying. There is nothing wrong. You have the most beautiful blessing ever um but i'm sitting here in tears and i i just can't it's like i can't pick myself back up and um it usually passes within a day um and then it'll come back you know every few days or once a week um but i think that that's been a lot of the reason why i've been so quiet 
and why we haven't uploaded videos um, because it's it's hard to try and portray a life where you know everything is perfect when I'm struggling pretty badly. Um, I just I don't feel motivated to get out the camera um, especially on days whenever I'm having bad days but I don't feel motivated to get out the camera because I don't always feel like myself right now um, and I it is getting better and I want y'all to know that I'm I'm okay <laughs> um, I'm really okay um, overall I'm very happy I couldn't be happier but at the same time a lot of you moms probably do understand you're so happy, but at the same time, you have these days where you feel like you're at your lowest. Um, it's really crazy. And so I think that um, just opening up about it is helpful to me. And I've talked about it like here and there with friends. Um, it's probably pretty obvious because there are certain days where I just don't. I just kind of shut off. I don't go anywhere. I just hang out with Eva. Um, and she is one thing during the day that when she smiles, it's like I forget about that completely. Um, she's just incredible. But it's, it's a real struggle and it's not anything that ever, I ever thought that I would deal with. Um, at least not to this degree. Um, you can't prepare for it. You don't know if it's going to happen. It's all hormonal. And so, um, basically I just have to take it one day at a time and, really really talk to Matt whenever I am having it and whenever I do feel like I'm I'm getting kind of going through uh I don't want to call it an episode just a bad day when I'm having a bad day I just need to be sure and open up to Matt about it and um he's the most amazing amazing support system that I could ever ask for so between him him and Eva like we're good but there, there have been quite a few days where I'm just like, I just, I just don't want to, I don't want to try. And, um, which is, you know, being a stay at home mom, it's a blessing because I, I just have to focus on Eva, just taking care of her and maybe brushing my teeth, like just something super simple. <laughs> if I can just brush my teeth, it's a success. Um, Eva is next door, by the way, with, uh, the in-laws, she's hanging out with them for a little bit. So yeah i'm 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 okay i don't want any of you guys to worry um it's just something that it's it's just a battle that i'm going through and i think that if it doesn't get better in the coming weeks and months i will definitely talk to somebody um whether that's a therapist or a doctor i'd, I'd rather not look to medication but you know if it comes to that point um, mental health is very important and as a mom I need to be my best version so that I can be the best mom for Eva um, so I'm just kind of feeling it out just taking it one day at a time and knowing that everything will be okay and on those bad days it, it can be hard to remember that um, you know and, and there are some days where it's the days are long whenever Matt has work and then a show sometimes i'll have a show in the evening or sometimes i'll practice in the evening um i'm by myself with eva from pretty much 7 a.m to 10 or 11 p.m uh so those are long days so it can be mentally draining to be a mom as is but throw in you know postpartum depression with that and it it, it can be a rough day but um yeah, so that's just kind of what's going on. Um, everything else is as good as it could be. Um, perfect. Eva is perfect. And Matt is working so hard to provide for us and make it so that I can stay at home with her. Um, you know, because YouTube was kind of sort of a little bit of an income, but since we haven't been posting, there's nothing going on there. Um, and then I have a handful of clients, but it's not... It's you know, very, very part-time job at this time. Um, so my main focus, my main job is Eva. And I'm very blessed to be able to stay at home with her and do that. And I mean, it's just us here all day. 
and the weather it's ugh, it's so hot outside i want to take her outside so bad and we do for a few minutes at a time but it's just like both of us end up sweating so we have to come in um but yeah we're we're doing really good um i just i guess i felt kind of compelled to share that with the world and because i know that i'm not the only one struggling with this i'm not alone and I think that there's comfort in knowing that we're not alone with these struggles. Um, at least I feel that way. So hopefully if anybody out there needs to hear this message, hopefully they hear it. And um, yeah, just talking about it helps tremendously. So that's, I don't know, that, I guess that's kind of what I wanted to update y'all on. Um, not a lot going on with the house at this time. Uh, but of course we'll keep you all updated as things, as things happen with that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the update. Nice, raw, real update. Um, you know, I, and I guess adding on to that, I'm going to make this video longer. Adding on to that, um, over the last year or so, I've kind of put this pressure on myself with the YouTube channel whenever we did travel, whenever we started traveling with the RV, um, when we went to Colorado especially, I had it built up in my head that we were going to be able to do that more often and share exciting travels with y'all. Um, and we'd be going places and I could do, you know, decent editing for videos. I'm not that great, but we use the gimbal and stuff like that. Um, and since having Eva, I feel I feel kind of lost with the channel um, because I know that traveling isn't, it's just not an option right now financially uh, with Matt's new job and with, with even myself, it's just not, it's not an option. And so I feel like nothing really has been worth sharing, um, at least on the YouTube channel, just because it is just us here all day, half the time. I haven't washed my face or brushed my teeth for the most part of the day. Um, you know, it's, it's not exciting. It's not glamorous. And um, so I think that part of the reason why I haven't really shared much is, is because of that. I feel like it's not, it's not exciting. And um, although what I feel like what I'm doing is exciting. I'm a, I'm a mom. That's crazy. <laughs> but, you know, whenever you look up all the other rv and travel channels they're traveling i mean heck less junk more journey is traveling with with their baby and so i'm like we just we can't do that and uh it's kind of a weird place for me to be in with the youtube channel um but i know that you guys that do watch the videos and watch the vlogs and have, have stuck with us for the through the years um y'all have always been so supportive and just let me know you know, y'all let us know that y'all enjoy the videos regardless of where we are or what we're doing. And I appreciate that so much. Um, but I, I just, I feel like I'm gonna have to build my confidence back up with the channel. Um, and maybe figure out like a new, I don't know, just what we're gonna do. Cause I, I don't know, I just don't do anything during the day. So it's just not, it's not that exciting to put out on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the update. Um, Matt tried calling. I need to call him back, but yeah. Thank y'all for, thank y'all for listening. I don't know. That's the video. <laughs> Love you guys. Have fun out there and uh, we'll see you when we see you in the next one.